And we're off. All right, airspeed indicators alive, turning off nose wheel steering. Come on, come up. All right, airborne, gotta lean forward, find the G key. I suppose I could have just slapped it. Okay, so I'm going to throttle back a bit, because I uh, did a version of this flight uh, a while ago where I went full military power across the Gulf and into Iran at low level and used up an absolute ton of gas. So I'm going to pull back the power a bit, hope that helps. But uh, I am going to have to get low level here. Because there are a mess of SAM sites out here, but mostly old Hawk systems, and I have found that the Hawk does not deal well engaging low altitude targets. Then again, neither does the uh, SA 10. That's an interesting discrepancy between my altimeters. One says 240, the other says 50. A little rudder turn there so that I don't have to roll. So we even pulled back on the power. Let's see. We've got. 12.8 fuel flow. If I bring up my bingo list, bingo, there we go. I see I've got about one hour of uh, flight time. And my waypoint is 220 miles away, so it's only going to take me half an hour to get there at this, under these conditions. So this, uh, this, this should work out. be a bit lighter and cleaner coming back. Here we are, stabilized at 30 feet. And I mean, this thing is rock solid. It's, I'm hands off right now, just watching the world whip by. Ooh. Starting to climb a bit. So, I actually have no idea if I'm going to make it there, but it'll be fun. If I don't, uh, it'll be a short video. If I do, I'll well, probably have to edit out some of it, because it'll be boring. Oh dear, this flight path has me going right over a couple of SAM sites. I did not think that through. Well, this will be really time to see if they can engage me if I'm this low. I'm starting to enter the SAM threat rings. 
moving up on the Iranian coast. Ha! Lower than the mast of a sailboat. RWR is trying to come to life. All right, if I can get out of the threat ring of uh, this radar on the backside, low level, then uh, I should have no problem climbing up to a more fuel efficient altitude to do the rest of the flight. As much fun as terrain following is. Apparently that was not uh, the Iranian coast I was passing, it was probably just one of the uh, islands on the northern end of Oman. There. Move the mouse cursor up and out of the way, it keeps accidentally highlighting things. Still at 40 feet, 0.81 Mach. Everything is golden. I wonder if I just didn't set my altimeter right. See what happens when you don't do a proper uh, startup checklist. All right, we're almost on top of the uh, SAM sites. Pitch up a little bit to get over these buildings and trees. Okay. Just thunder across here real quick. this building. Okay. I have made it past the SAM sites. Once I get over this hill, or these hills, ooh, I should have better terrain masking so that they won't be able to target me. Okay, I can probably be a little more relaxed about how low I fly. By the time I get to the other side of this ridge, I should be good. 169 miles to go. Almost outside their threat range. Started pulling up. I am in a Cat 3 configuration. So I know that limits my angle of attack. And I need to be mindful of my G limits. Ah, oh, beautiful. 
simply beautiful.